Depende do rio. Vida tranquila, você come coisa fresca. Tanto faz ser açaí, a verdura, o camarão, o peixe. Agora não, mudou muito. Ah, mudou? Ultra processed foods, soft drinks, salty and sweet snacks, and a lot of ready meals are actually not foods, they are formulations. I'm a big believer in what we do at Nestle, where we use science and then technology to enhance nature, not to replace nature. We are in this almost utopian period where food's abundant, it's cheap. We solved the problem of food security, but in doing that, we didn't anticipate what the impact would be. Now we focus on things like reducing salt and reducing saturated fat. In epidemiology, we see the vector of a disease. So uh, mosquitoes are the vector of uh, malaria. The vector of obesity is ultra-processed foods. Obesity is increasing all over the world. In Brazil, every year we have one million new cases of obesity. When you see marketing in the US, it's trying to change people from brands. In Brazil, it's to make people change from traditional diets to ultra-processed foods. What Nestle and other companies are doing is they go to these small villages to get these new clients. As consumers climb up the economic ladder, they get to a point where their lifestyles change we provide a very good choice for them. It's all about taste at the end, um, but not taste at any cost. We know that if we don't make a product that tastes good, it doesn't matter how nutritional or how good for you it is. If it's not being consumed, it's not having an impact on the diet. The success of these big food corporations will be the destruction of dietary diversity. Os produtos da Nestlé são mais gostoso, tem mais nutrientes, né, vitaminas. É bom. Se tivesse condições, né, a gente comprava para todo mundo tomar da Nestlé. We are in a transition in Brazil. When the transition is over, it will be much more difficult to go back. <laughs>